Hi again. This is the third part of Atsumu is Evil. This will not be the third part of the song series, since I'm turning this into an AU. Also, I do not own the Heikaiu characters and this does not accurately represent the Heikaiu characters. Hope you enjoy the video. It took a few hours for everyone to arrive at Inarizuki, but surprisingly everyone who saw the messages came. Is everyone here? Unfortunately. This is so exciting. I'm really curious what is happening. I think we all are. Come on. We have to go to the forest. Suna looked at everyone desperately. Calm down. He's not dead yet. That isn't as comforting as you think it is. Oh. Dot. Where in the forest do we go? Is there a trail to follow? Or do we walk around aimlessly? I don't know what you think we heard. But we know the exact same things you do. There really aren't any trails in the forest. You saw Daishao, right? Do you know where he entered? I did, and I do. Let's start off going that way first then. Let's hurry. Calm down. Your boyfriend is already dead. Exclamation mark. Everyone looked at Lev shocked. You can't change what already happened. You're not wrong. We don't know if anyone is dead. That's why we're here. Let's go. We can't waste time. I agree. Something bad could be happening. Exactly. Then led the way Aaron. All right. They walked around the Inarizuki gates as they approached the forest. They walked to the southern side of the forest as Aaron looked around. What are you searching for? Dot. Is there a trail marker or something? Give him a moment. Aaron continued searching as he smiled and held up in a Hebe volleyball jacket. Is that supposed to be comforting? No. I saw him take it off as he walked in. Meaning he went this way. Why would he take it off? Because it's hot. Idiots. Usually you wouldn't just toss your clothes on the ground. I guess we continue that way then. Appears so. The group continued forwards going deeper into the forest, trying to walk as straight a path as possible. Aaron, who was somehow still leading the way, stopped abruptly. Kira and Sakusa, who were right behind him, ran into him. Oof. Why? Do you see that? Aaron pointed towards a faint glowing blue light in front of them. What the hell? Aliens. No. But. No. Fine. How interesting. Tendao walked in front of them all as he approached the blue light. Satori. Ashijima followed close behind as the rest of the group hesitantly walked towards it. That's. Worrisome. Oh. The rest of the group stopped as they heard Tendao and Ashijima say those. What? What is it? Is it Atsumu or the others? No. It's. What is it? The group walked slowly to where Ashijima and Tendao were. In front of them was a large glowing blue orb. Oikawa and Lev gasped. Alternate dimension. That's what I was going to say. A portal. It's a portal. That. Can't be real. Alternate dimension? Portal? KG? Ah. An alternate dimension is a dimension that is close to ours. But somewhere along the way something happened to change it from our reality. Kinda? I see. Do you? I guess. And a portal is the rip in the space and time between the dimensions. Pretty much a doorway between them. Is that where Samu and Tsumu are? Impossible. Why did the snake, seagull, and Yaku come this way a day after the twins? They have names. Kuru. I know. Favoritism. Our team is the best. Is that why we lost? Dot. Let's get back on topic. The topic of the portal? We can't just blindly go in there. We don't even know if it is a portal. It could be a destructive weapon. It could end humanity. Tendao smirked as he picked up a rock. Don't do it. Do what? Tendao shrugged as he accidentally threw the rock into the light. To their surprise, the rock went through one side of the portal, but not the other side. Dot. That's freaky. That's scary. That's another way to put it. Satori. Oops. They continued staring at the portal as they started to hear a noise. It sounded like someone angrily muttering to themselves. Where is that coming from? Tsukishima? Nope. Kajima? You're right next to me. Obviously not. Iwezumi? Not this time. Sakusa? I don't have anything to be angry at. Well that rules out all the possibilities. What about everyone else? They don't angrily mutter. Hiro does though. Only when someone hits me in the head with a rock. They all jumped as they saw Hirugami's face peek out of the blue orb. You fell in love with me. Hiro. Hashiumi perked up as he approached Hirugami. What the hell is happening? Oh you don't know? Clearly not. Atsumu, Daishao, Asamu, Yaku and I were pulled into an alternate dimension. Question mark. Seriously? You expect us to believe that? I mean, 
We did switch bodies once. Huh? Nothing. Why don't you just come back? It's complicated. How complicated can it be? It's a weird dimension. It should be just like ours. It's not. Then what's it like? An RPG. Kenma's eyes lit up as he walked up to Hirugami. I want to see. I don't suggest it. It may sound fun, but it's not. How can it not be fun? We're all an NPC. All? All except for the servant and knight of the Weasel Kingdom. The what now? There are seven kingdoms. Seagull, Fox, Weasel, Cat, Crow, Eagle, and Snake. Like our mascots? You're kidding. I didn't make it. So who is in the Weasel Kingdom? I don't know. Once you enter the portal you're randomly assigned a role. What did you get? I am the Prince of Blue, from the Seagull Kingdom. Atsumu's crush? And Daishou's boyfriend? Yeah. According to the game. Is Asamu okay? Dot. Hirugami looked away as he decided to change the topic. If you come in, remember all but two of you will be an NPC. Non-player characters, as they are also known, cannot stray from the story or else the world collapses. You have little freedom, like what I'm doing right now. I can do this since I was supposed to be in the forest, but I have to go in a minute since I'll need to be at the Fox Kingdom. Join at your own peril. It gets tough. Obviously I'm going. Same. You two are so protective. Wouldn't you be if Bakudo were going to get executed? Question mark. Of course. Exactly. All right. I guess I'll see you guys later. And Aaron, Oikawa, Kajima, and Kenma. Make sure you follow the story, even if you don't agree with it. Hirugami retreated back into the orb as the four called out looked confused. Why us? Of course I will. Kenma was hyped to go into a game. If I don't agree with it, I won't. Dot. Shall we go? This is weird. I don't think we should. Don't be such a downer, you two. The group approached the portal as they somehow got paired into fours. Aaron, Kita, Suna, and Sakusa went in first. Next were Kenma, Kuru, Hashiumi, and Lev. Oikawa, Iwazumi, Ashijima, and Tendao followed. Kajima, Hinata, Bakuto, and Akashi went next. Finally Tsukishima, Yamaguchi, and Tirushima walked through, hesitantly. There was no going back. Meanwhile, in the dungeons. Dot. Hey. Yaku approached the cell and smiled weakly at Asamu. Hey. Did you get fed yet? Yeah. I know this sounds bad but, how are you? I'm fine. Sumu and I were able to contact the others. That doesn't even make sense I know. Will you be okay? I'm about to be executed in two days and if the knight and servant don't come, then the game will continue like a finished story. I'm already dead. Yaku. So morbid. As long as the others come then you'll be fine. Let's hope. Do you regret what you did? Saving Tsumu? No. You might want to get going. I think your shift is almost up. At the same time, in the forest. Tsumu. I'm here. Hirugami yelled looking for Atsumu. Over here Hirugami. You'll never guess what I found. Berries? Atsumu looked down at what was in Hirugami's hands. Yes, but I also found the portal. That'd be great if we could leave. We could. We just need Asamu. And Daishou. But he's dead. It's not your fault. I needed to stop it, but I couldn't. I made my brother kill a friend. No you didn't. It's this stupid game. Speaking of which. The others are joining. Others? Ah, uh, Hashiumi and some other volleyball players. They came? Atsumu smiled as he jumped up. Yep. And I gave them the proper warning. I'm so happy. Now our story can begin. Hope you enjoyed the video. The next video will be the start of a new prank. Exciting news. I have a Discord server. You can join with the link in the description below. Also, I have an Instagram if you'd like to follow there is a link in the description below. I usually just post random pictures I draw or pictures from my videos. If you'd like to support me, and maybe buy me a coffee to keep me awake for my late night editing sessions, there is a link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.